Okay, this is the Marble Machine X. I'm so excited because today I'm going to see if this machine works by playing 30,000 marbles in a row. I'll start by starting the motor right there. First thing to do is to activate the rhythm machine. Like that. And the snare that we tried before. But we have a new instrument. The hi-hat is ready for the test. Let's go. In the last test we played 10,000 marbles with zero fizz, but we were only using the snare drum. So for today's test I've added a second marble gate right here that drops marbles on the hi-hat. Today's test will be much more difficult and I'm very curious to see how the clock escapement gates will perform today. Time for a first checkpoint. Played 2,000 marbles. Everything looks good so far. I don't think I've ever seen a cleaner floor. We have played for 23 minutes and we're well past 4,000 marbles. No marbles on the floor. Everything works. The gates are beautiful. <laughs> if I might say so myself. We're at 6,000 marbles, no issues so far. It's doing great. We've been playing for 40 minutes and we're at 8,000 marbles. And let me show you this floor. It is spectacularly clean. So we actually already set the record, we're over 10,000 marbles, no marbles on the floor. Twelve thousand marbles, and I was filming walking around, and felt something under my foot. One marble on the floor. I have no clue where it comes from. I would love to know where this one marble comes from. There's an ant on the marble. <laughs> Can you tell us where the marble come from, Auntie? One hour and forty minutes in. Whoa! There was a marble. <laughs> I was just going to say that there was nothing. Great! We caught it on camera. I am delighted. <laughs> it's like SpaceX, you know, it's important what kind of data comes out of the test, not really how the test goes. Second marble, live, live, my friends. And we also have another issue. 
So the right channel for the snare drum is not always pushing back the button to correctly operate the gate. I will investigate after the test. 26,000, two marbles on the floor. Oh, there we go, 30,000 marbles. Let's hit stop. We have two marbles on the floor, but this test was a big success. Let's analyze this footage and see if we can find the issue. 40 minutes in. Whoa, that was a marble. And Hans. <laughs> Check closely at the snare drum. So one marble is coming here. Splits into two marbles. <laughs> two marbles out of 30,000 and I managed to capture this on camera. So here's dropping one marble. And the arm is closing, but look, it's actually hesitating. There. L loading one marble, loading a second marble. I know exactly why this happens and I know exactly how to fix it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fix it. I'm going to rerun the whole test again to see if we can drop 30,000 marbles with perfect result. This arm that is lifting out and pushing back in is not pushing hard enough. The issue is not with the mechanical design. It's just a matter of force of this long arm. I'm going to make this arm push stronger in. I'm also going to make this sliding part slide easier. Up here you can see the springs pushing the arms back and I have a stronger one and that's the first thing. I'm gonna change the spring. I don't want to make it too complicated right now but these long snare drum arms have less force because of leverage. The shorter highest arms has much more force because of leverage. So I'm only expecting to change the springs for the snare drum and no other channel of the whole marble machine. This is my latest measuring device. It's a force gauge. When I pull here in the hook, I get a value and I have the peak setting, so I see the max value. 15 for the old, 23 for the new. Now we can be confident that the new spring is stronger. New stronger springs are in and I can feel the arm pushing much harder. So now for the second part of the fix, we're gonna reduce the frictions. We're gonna reduce the amount the arm has to push. So this is the link that needs to move. So it's important that this nut isn't clamping on this link. And what I found out is that this bolt that can move sideways like this. So what I've seen happening is that the bolt moved to the left. Look, it's not closing. So this bolt doesn't have threads in the middle. So this copper wire is representing the marble gate. So I have no way of holding this bolt sideways. On the new solution, I'm using a M3 threaded rod, which has thread all the way. So I can put these two nuts in the middle of these two things and keep this from sliding sideways. We made the arm stronger, we reduced the friction. Let's do another 30,000 test. 30,000 marble test, take two. Let's go. Two thousand marbles, zero fail. Marbles, zero fail. Nine thousand marbles, zero fail.
Zero fail, 16,000 marbles, zero fail. I can't really recall ever having seen a floor in such a mint condition. Five seconds. Thirty thousand marbles, zero fail. Okay, now I'm happy. <laughs> I wasn't really happy after the first 10,000 perfect test. This though feels like a real achievement. The machine is slowly start to feel like a music instrument. I was outside my house and it sounds like it's a tight drummer <laughs> rehearsing up here. These are mechanical tests only. We're not testing audio quality or musical timing quality yet. I've adjusted the machine a little bit so it plays kind of tight already, I have to say. I think I might be able to tweak it more. I have ideas for that. I think the clock escapement gates sometimes are a little bit misunderstood for being complicated. They are very, very straightforward. Both in this test and in last test, we had the same issue that the arms pushing on the gates were not pushing hard enough. And now I'm going to start to work on the cyber gates for the cyber base. I started Sunday morning 8.30 with welding the clock escapement gate together. So here I'm just welding my second gate ever and it it wasn't that bad, it took two hours kind of. Then I could go on and add all the parts that are not welding and I tried the gate and it worked right away. So after lunch I could already start putting the gate onto the machine. This is always nerve wracking. You can see I spent like two hours actually choosing where the gate should sit on the machine because we do not have that in CAD. Then I could weld it together and then it was in the evening and I'm CNCing some plywood parts and ending work at 11 in the evening for a nice 15 hour work day. So <laughs> I start next morning a little bit late and I start to make these pressure valve uh, that I'm gonna cut here on the CNC machine. I didn't even show you this pressure valve in the video today. I wanted to focus this video on the performance and the test result, but this pressure valve went in and then I bent the PMA pipes, which was as always, a minor little hell to get those pipes corrected. So it took much more time than I thought. Here I'm putting the microphones on the hi-hat. We have two microphones and I'm doing a little bit of a sound check and a little bit of a timing um, tweaking. Timing is a big discussion for another. I kind of want to make a new programming wheel, but never. let's not <laughs> open that can of worms at this very celebratory moment. Anyway, uh, so day four, I spent 80 hours assembling all the parts for this Hyatt and now I'm programming the parts. So I tried to shoot this time lapse to make the machine motion blur and it looks pretty cool when the machine is moving, when the wheels are all blurry. So after this, I filmed the test and then made the fixes and then filmed the second test and then started editing the video and it takes some time to get these videos out to you but I'm so happy today how well this test went. Thank you for following this crazy journey and thanks to everyone who are supporting this project through YouTube memberships and Patreon. We're over 10,000 people now, so thank you for passing that milestone together with me. My biggest fear has been to get all of you involved and invested in this stupid idea. And I have a lot of ideas and a lot of naive ideas. And my biggest fear has been that this machine turns out to be a dead end. Last autumn when things were not really working, I made a major redesign and now we are seeing the fruits of this redesign. Good signs for the Marble Machine X and some cyber bass in the next Marble test will add to the musical sound of this machine. I'm This snare drum and Hyatt drives me absolutely ballistic. <laughs> I've been listening to this snare drum uh, constantly for one week. Uh, it will be nice with a little bass guitar <laughs> to the snare drum. It's kind of crazy. So. Have a wonderful day everyone, see you in the next one.